Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica. No thunderstorms today, at least not yet. Guys, today's topic is going to be what you should not do as soon as the discard happens. Think about that. If you like the content, please subscribe. Guys, the relationship is over. The narcissistic relationship just ended. Let's say it ended 20 minutes ago. Boom. Now, this is going to, I don't want, I'm not trying to trigger anybody or anything. I'm just giving you my suggestions here. When the relationship ends, your head is spinning. You don't know what's going on, in or out, up or down, anything. You're totally confused. You're bewildered. You're, you're lost. You feel abandoned, isolated, devastated, betrayed. You feel so many different emotions. But more importantly, you're alone and you have no idea how this person you spent so much time with, who was your significant other or your partner, they could just up and leave and just do what they did. You see, you just were had by a narcissist. You were. And as much as difficult as it is for me to say that, it happened to me too. This is when the mask falls off and they actually reveal themselves as for who they really are, which is a parasitic, blood-sucking energy vampire, someone who took from you for the length of the relationship and now has discarded you, moved on to a new, a new uh, source of supply. But this video is about what you should not do immediately after the narcissistic relationship ended. Now it's gonna take a lot of strength, fortitude, it's gonna take will. And I believe most of you who are watching this know exactly what I'm talking about. For those of you that maybe the relationships just ended, like very, very recently, it's gonna take all of your might to do this. And if you can do it, great. If you can't, I understand completely. Full disclosure, what I'm about to tell you is what I did. And I'm gonna tell you the results also, which is why I'm sharing my information and insight and education with you like I always do. So the narcissistic relationship just ended. You don't know what's going on. You're, you're not in a good spot. Let's put it that way. And the first thing you want and the first thing you need is you need answers. See, you're looking for answers and closure and resolution. And you wanna figure out exactly what happened and who this person was that just abandoned you and just isolated you and left you for dead. And you're searching and you're searching. And it keeps going back to one thing. There's only one person that can cure your questions, can answer your questions. That's right, it's the narcissist. Now guys, pay attention to this. The narcissist knows this. They know that they are the solution. They know that they are the one person on the planet that can give you the answers to the questions and hopefully the closure that you're looking for. They're the one person who not only decimated you and destroyed you, and took all of your goodness away from you. Your energy, passion, commitment, health, money, finances, friends, maybe even job. But they're also the one person, the only person that could give you the answers you're looking for. Here's where the insight comes in. Your instincts are to contact them through phone call, email, text, whatever. Go to their place of work, whatever you're thinking. That's the last thing you wanna do. Now, I understand, and for many, many of you that have been through this, I know right now you're shaking your heads like Andrew's right, he's right. For people that this just happened to, the discard, let's say it happened yesterday, it's gonna take every bit of your strength to not do this, and I believe you will do it anyway. It's human nature, I understand it, and I respect it. I'm trying to give you words of wisdom here, which are, if you're going searching for validation or solution, uh, sorry, resolution or answers from the narcissist, after the discard, you're not gonna get it. What you're going to be doing instead is giving them more supply. You see, when you contact them in any capacity after the discard, you're giving them supply, you're empowering them, weakening yourself. And what you're doing is you're asking futile questions that will never be answered, ever. So the narcissist knows this, and throughout the whole relationship, they built this whole game plan ultimately to culminate during this day, the day of devastation, the day of discard, the day of abandonment and isolation, the day of your ultimate demise. They knew this the whole time. From day one when you met them, they knew this, right up into including this exact moment. They planned it. Yes, they planned it. Now, I know it's hard for many of you that this just happened to, to wrap your heads around this, but for those of you that this has been you know, years ago or months, a long time ago, you're gonna resonate with this completely. The narcissist knows everything they're doing. 
no more so than during the discard. So you going to them and contacting them or reaching out to them in any capacity and looking for resolution or answers, you won't get it. What you will get is radio silence. You see, because right now you're dead to the narcissist and the narcissist does want you dead. I'm not saying physically, but they want you out of their minds because they've already used you. They've already abused you. They've already consumed all of your goodness, your energy, your soul, your life, your fortitude, everything they've taken from you, finances, friends. They've left you exactly how they wanted to leave you when you, they first met you, which is an empty shell. They want you to be suffering in pain, misery, discomfort, isolation, and in ultimate ruin. So do you think for a moment they're gonna give you the answers you're looking for? They won't. Do you think they care about you even a little bit? They don't. Did they ever love you? No. I know that's very hard for you to understand, but it's true. You see, the narcissist plays a game. During their lives, they play a game, and it's a game of manipulation and control. And you were the latest victim. That's right, it was you. It was me too. And the narcissist, they need control. They need the upper hand. They need to feel like they've won. So for them to give you closure or answers to your questions or to give you any kind of resolution, number one, they're incapable of that because they flat out don't care about you. Number two, they will never do that because to give you any answers or insight or resolution or closure, that empowers you and it gives you answers that you're looking for and it weakens them. They're not gonna do it. So to give you a real life example for me, when I was discarded, it took me a couple days to figure out what to do. And it, sincerely, full disclosure, like I do always on the channel, you guys, I dropped a very lengthy, detailed email. Looking back on it, sincerely, I shouldn't have done it because I'm more of a person, a personable person. But I did drop an email, and it was met with deaf ears, or radio silence, whatever that term is. Nothing, zero. I learned quickly right then and there what I was dealing with. A blood-sucking parasitic vampire who doesn't care one bit, a soulless human being who doesn't care about one bit of the relationship that we had, and I'm well over that. I'm talking the, when the discard happened. And then also, to be fair, I went and discussed a few things with the narcissist. This is within a week or so of the discard. Nothing. The mask had slipped. They had changed. They were showing displeasure, discomfort, their displeasing attitude of even being near me. Yes, it was officially over. At that point, that's when I realized I'm not going to get anything from this person. Nothing. It's just not going to happen. And I told through months and months of education, difficulty, despair, isolation, all the things I talk about on the channel. But I realized pretty quickly that I wasn't going to get any answers, and I was fortunate in that capacity. So I'm passing on my information to you. You may think that reaching out to them immediately is the best thing for you. It's the worst. You see, with the narcissist, it's always the opposite. It's always upside down is downside up, inside out is outside in, whatever these terms are. Whatever you think a logical human being would prefer, it's the opposite for the narcissist. It always has been and it always will be. So reaching out to them in any capacity, you won't get closure, you're not gonna get resolution, you won't get answers. And if by chance, let's say that you can't help yourself, and I understand if you can't, believe me, I understand completely. The narcissist, whatever they tell you, it's gonna be lip service, just like your whole relationship was. It's gonna be saying things to keep you appeased or to maybe give you a little breadcrumb of information which may or may not be true. And this is how the narcissist lives. Remember, they need to control you and every aspect of everything, including the narcissistic uh, relationship ending. They ended it, right? They discarded you. They needed to ride off into the sunset on their high horse. But guess what? They're not the winners. You are, which is for a whole different video. But you are fortunate to have been freed of the narcissist's, narcissist's fangs. Getting back on topic before I close the video, your instincts are going to tell you immediately to contact them because they have the only solution for you. They have, they have the cure, the thing that you need, and I get it because you were, you were attacked, not physically, but you were, you were, they sank their fangs into you and you were drugged just like I mentioned in many videos before. And the only solution for you, the way you see things, is to go to the source and figure out what happened. The source will never provide anything for you. You see, the whole relationship you were in was nothing but a mirage, 
Nothing but a sideshow, nothing but a carnival act. Not for you, but that's what, how they perceived it. How long they can keep the mask on, it's a game to them. That's, again, for a different video. Guys, I'm gonna close the video out now, but play this video a few times. When the discard happens, the last thing you want to be doing is the one thing you feel you need to be doing. And just like many things in the narcissistic relationship, it's so topsy-turvy and confusing. The more education you get, the better. Guys, from Costa Rica, it's Andrew. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love doing it. I love you all. God bless you. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon. Namaste. I love you. Bye.